Hello, Zeph Films here with a follow-up. Uh, so in the video that you were linked to from this, or probably saw just before this, um, I was talking about how STO devs were introducing a system that allows you to fly T6 ships at any level. At the end of that video, I tried unpacking my uh, one of the extra Enterprise Jades that I had on this character and couldn't do it. I jumped onto Tribble today, and it seems that it is uh, on Tribble for us to test. So uh, I'm here on my, this is my Lieutenant Commander level 13 character, and I do now have access to my Manticore. Uh, before there was some red text that was restricting me. So we're going to take a look at this really quick. Uh, as you can see here, this is a T6 ship. Uh, I This is the only tier 6 ship that... Uh, showed up so if you're a gold member or sorry if you're a lifetime member or if you've been month to month for over a thousand days um, this should be available to you on Tribble so you can test this out uh, but as we can see here we have uh, three engineering consoles five tactical consoles and two science consoles so let's pick this up uh, base hall on here is saying 62,100 um, and then four app uh, weapon or sorry and the weapon layout is a 4-3 so let's buy the ship click OK done all right now let's go over to here and select it that's not it this is it let's ready the starship and let's see what we have now for our layout. So at level 13, actually, let's beam up. All right, so here we are in Earth Space Dock with the Tier 6 Manticore right there. I am on a level 13 character, as you can see here and up here on the top uh, left. Uh, so as we can see, this is a 4-3 ship, and as they, uh, they specified, uh, ships with 4 uh, slots um, from 0 to 10 you have two forward weapons once you hit level 10 you'll get the third uh, forward weapon and then once you hit level 30 you'll get the fourth one and then uh, you have uh, with the three aft weapons if you have a ship that has three aft weapons you'll always have the two and the third one will unlock at uh, level 30 uh, it looks like there doesn't seem to be any limitation on the experimental weapon slot. Uh, engineering console, you can see we have two engineering consoles available to us out of the three. We have one science console available to us out of the two. And out of the five tactical consoles, we have three available to us. Now, if that was on a character that was under level 10, uh, we wouldn't see any science console slots. They both have padlocks on it. Uh, from what I understand of the blog and the engineering consoles because there's three we would have only had one uh, so these two just unlocked after level 10 and then with the tactical slots uh, we would have actually started off with the three the fourth one unlocks at level 20 and the fifth one will unlock at level 40. Now I gotta figure out if there is something wrong with the hall numbers because I had a feeling that these hall numbers were going to be lower okay so I took off a couple of uh, consoles here uh, just in case anything was buffing my hall and it appears like it was um, but I still have a base hall of 68,310 that doesn't seem right <laughs> I was under the influence that it would be lower um, so I might have to, I might go onto Twitter and ask Bordicus about this. Uh, let me try something here. Let's turn off all of our traits. Because something here might be buffing it still. Personal space traits. Let's turn these off. Okay, so all skills unslotted. So we're back down to the base hall of 62,100. 
Now, from the blog, it said uh, base hull capacity. To calculate your ship's hull capacity, apply the listed hull modifier to the following values. The respected values may later be increased with skill and equipment that increase maximum hull. So we don't have any equipment or any skills applied to our ship right now. Uh, and we have a hull of 62,100. According to the blog, I'm pulling out my calculator here just to make sure I get my math right. So because we're level 13, uh, level 10 is the 15,000. And then the hull modifier on this was 1.15. That would give us 17,250. These numbers so feel off. I'm going to stop recording here and see if I can talk to Bordicus. <laughs> so I put a tweet out. Um, he's probably busy. More likely won't get back right away. Um, they, this could be just a bug. Like this was just put onto Tribble today. Uh, and today being Monday, April 22nd. Uh, but let's see how things turn out when I open up the Enterprise J. Uh, so let's unpack this. Uh, let's hit done. Okay. Let's switch Starship. Whoa. Okay, so I have the universe class specs up on uh, Stopedia. So we're going to take a look here. Uh, so stats. So on STO, actually, let's make sure we have everything taken off here. Don't have anything with hull modifier, right? Damage. Yeah, this hull still does not seem correct. Because on Stopedia, it's saying that at level 65, the base hull is 69,750. Level 50 is 53,475. Level 40 is 46,500. So if we take the hull modifier that they were talking about on the thing, let's go by the Stopedia, Stopedia stats here. Um, so calculator. Uh, so to find out the base hull, they said 45,000 at level 45 times the hull modifier for the ship, which is 1.55 equals 69,750, which matches Stopedia. And right now I'm sitting here with an Enterprise J universe class on a level 13 character, and my hull is reading at 83,700. The I, I don't think things were transferred over properly. <laughs> uh, as you see, I have nothing in my skills, uh, nothing in my traits. Maybe some of my human traits might be affecting, but it shouldn't. Like the hull capacity should be a lot lower right now. Um, maybe some of my bridge officer traits are. There's nothing really here that would be boosting it up that much so maybe the things just haven't been completely ported over uh we can unpack t6 ships on lower level characters uh i just don't think the math for the hull has been transferred over just yet so yeah um the only ways that i know of of transferring over ships again is if you have a packed t6 ship on a character on holodeck then transfer it over to tribble um, still packed and then unpack it on Tribble or if you have access to the mana core do go to the ship requisitions bring the uh, the drop down field down to tier 6 and then claim your ship that way uh, but that's going to be it for this video uh, keep an eye on the hull stats and see if that changes if you're uh, on Twitter you can follow me at ZephFilms underscore STO and you can see if Bordicus uh, responds uh, about the math. I, I suspect it's probably just a bug at the moment or just that part of the code has been transferred over. But uh, yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you found this informative and helpful. If you're new here, subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.